Yeah. <laughs> um, I had mentioned that I wanted my rights enforced. Yes. And I found this very interesting. Innocent until proven guilty, the origins of a legal maxim. If it was, well, I thought it was very good reading for myself. <laughs> I woke up and um, I noticed that I've been pronounced guilty without being, well, allowed to uh, present any evidence. Yes. Now, the law, yes, uh, this Coffin versus USA, yeah. uh, the court had refused to instruct the jury that the law presumes that persons yeah, charged with a crime are innocent until they're proven by competent evidence to be guilty. Yeah. And I put a big accepted right there. <laughs> now, it seemed to me that when I email law enforcement that I wasn't in Vernon, right, and I wasn't in swim, right? <laughs> they had an obligation to present competent evidence that I was on the bus that morning. Yes. And I was in the library on December 31st, and I wasn't emailing Heidi any lewd or lascivious anything. In fact, it was an actual accident because of the King County Administrator. Yes. Now, uh, before you can find any one of the defendants guilty, you must be satisfied of his guilt as charged in some of the counts of the indictment beyond a reasonable doubt. I don't see how I can be found guilty by a jury of my peers. Yes, when I presented the evidence that on June 16th of 2017, I was sitting in front of the Masonic Temple making videos. Yes. Yeah. Then I went to the senior center that day and I uploaded them to YouTube. Yes. Then I sent some, well, emails, approximately 2,500 of them. Yes. Now, it looks like we're overlooking the fraud of having me arrested for crimes that I have documented that I did not commit. True. And then you're deciding that... Well, we're just going to allow these fraudulent arrests to take place because we're going to act like Paul is crazy when he's not. Mm -hmm. Now, the cases that society has found most heinous mm, have always been those in which the rules of fair and just procedure have come under attack. I think it's very unfair and it's a very unjust procedure yes, to require 1077s without the admitting of any evidence that someone's guilty of any crime. <laughs> now, let's say that you approved of how I think about things. It's very unfair, mm -hmm. and it's very unjust, yes, that the procedure of the court is to require a 1077, yes, and then restoration of cell hearing, yes, without any evidence being presented that the individual accused was actually at the scene of a crime mm -hmm. or any of the emails that were sent were uh, actually received by any of the co-workers of the petitioner that did not sign the actual protection order. <laughs> now, there was this Irishman, yes, nice do not extend to Irishman, yes, uh, McNally emphasized the presumption of innocence for those accused of treason, <laughs> justified applying the same rules of due process to them as to other defendants of criminal offenses. Now, I can say that it's treasonous, okay, <laughs> to have unfair and unjust court procedures where you say I'm crazy for knowing where I was at on December 31st of 2000. <laughs> And knowing where I was at on June 16th of 2017 and then having actually emailed approximately two to 3,000 email addresses that day. <laughs> now, um, this was really interesting because it used to be that you only had one witness. Yes, I thought of Carol Kirk as the crisis responder where allegedly, okay, the prosecuting attorney, yes, had somebody that witnessed me in Brennan, Washington on or about June 16th of 2017. Yeah. Now, uh, the North American view and why he quoted our maxim, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he came very close to stating that principle. Yes. 
uh, when he discussed the two witness rule for cases of treason. <laughs> now, let's say I had two witnesses that actually <laughs> had observed you, ouch, as a police or sheriff's department anywhere in the United States, <laughs> say that it wasn't in your jurisdiction to enforce fraud laws. <laughs> How would all the elected sheriffs of the United States, how would you like to be sued for the one count criminal complaint of the treason yes. of not supporting and defending the Constitution of the United States? <laughs> now, all I would need is the actual bank account signature cards yes. of every employee of every sheriff's department in every county of the United States. <laughs> Treason is going to become a very everyday word. <laughs> These sworn oaths that you signed when you got elected to office, <laughs> they're enforceable too. <laughs> now, I'm going to go back to the origins okay, of innocent until proven guilty. <laughs>